I am Nilsay Kerman. Last time, we saw arguably the worst car ever made, the Holska 330S. But this time we are going to take a look at the well-respected Ingvar Nardals. Unlike the sporty Holska, this is an industrial pickup truck. I launched an intercontinental ballistic missile into the roof of the last one. Will this one meet the same fate? Well that is what we are going to try to find out today. This car is about 40 years old, about the same as the Holska. It was made by an independent engineer named Ingvar. He basically put a bunch of metal plates, glued a pack of engine parts and mounted it on a chassis. This resulted in what is known simply as the Ingvar Nardals. He showed his car to the mining industries on the other side of the mountains, and they were impressed. Suspension combined with cargo space, reliability, torque and effective size, made it attractive for transportation of resources and equipment. And one thing I would like to point out, this car actually has a rear window, which is easy to look out of, and quite nice interior actually, very cozy. Okay, let's cut the crap, let's drive this thing. Oh, my, lord, this car actually sounds really good. This thing is front wheel drive, and has the same turbo system as the Holska. The thing that makes this far superior to the Holska, is the fact that this has RPM limiters, which kinda works as gears. You have four of them, 25%, 50%, 75% and 100% of the total capacity of the engine. BAP! Amazing, this thing works. Now I want to get up some speed on this straight line. Let's go. Oh no, Shit. Great, now it's stuck. I guess I will have to get out then. Sigh. Yeah baby, we are out and I think I have destroyed the front lights and punctured the engine, so it is quite weak. We were scheduled to do a drag race anyways, so what was I thinking with that? Idiot. It might not look like it, but this car is massive, much larger than the Holska. Just, look at it. In fact, it is so monstrous that I have to climb into the motor housing to fix it. I bet you I could have made this into my house if I have wanted to. Well, 500 likes on this video, and I will make a house of this car. In any case, we can see the fan is here, and the yellow box is a RPM limiter. The rest of the engine compartments are spread across the vehicle. But any huang, I shall fix the car now. And it works. Now, is the Ingvar faster than the Holska? Max gear, turbo, on. How in the good name of God is this industrial pickup truck faster than a sports car? This thing is not fast by any means, the Holska is just so insanely slow. I am going to open the car and find out why it is faster than the Holska, and while we are at it, we can look at some statistics. He 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 You might think at first that this car might have a stronger engine, and for some reason it would be faster when there is no cargo on the hold. 
you would be wrong. The Ingver uses a 3E2 fanned PEC Mark V engine, while the Holsker uses a 18E2 fanned PEC Mark V engine. The Holsker uses 18E instead of 3E, so shouldn't the Holsker be faster? The thing is that E stands for how many electrical units gets converted from petrol in a second. This means that the Holsker gets 18 electrical units while the Ingver gets 3 electrical units which is 6 times less. Why isn't the Holsker faster? Because it is way underpowered for what it is. Simply put, the Holsker's two small fanners don't need 18E, so the engine is an oversized ineffective fat piece of garbage. It just weighs the vehicle down, but for the Ingver, 3E is enough. It uses the same size fanners, so it has the same power, but lighter weight. The Holsker don't need 18E, it is unnecessary. The power goes to nothing. If the Holsker were to use a 6 fan engine it would be great, but no, whoever designed this thing was an asshole. In any case, the Ingver is a well-respected car, not because of the performance itself, but for the easy assembly. I mentioned that Ingver cut a few corners when he made this car for himself. This means that it is a very simple car, which also means it is easy to modify. It is quite easy for car enthusiasts to raise or lower the wheels, mount bumpers or spoilers, switch out the engine or let's say, make a house of this car. So it is popular amongst those who like working with cars. Speaking of modifications and features, there is a feature that is odd and unexplained. OCD warning in 3, 2, 1. Now, if you have caught it. The right rod tip is sideways while the left one is vertical. Why? Well, no one knows, the car manual says nothing. When Ingver told the producers about the feature they did not bother to listen to him and just added it on. The producers later said, quote, Ingver is quite an interesting man on paper, but bores us to death in practice. That has to be nominated to Roast of the Year. I bet at least half of you are asleep now, so I think it is time for the big towing of the great load. It is load time. My hypothesis is that this will actually do much better than the Holsker. Because this is a front-wheel drive car, and because it is lighter overall, it will probably drag this thing. Ha! Huh, this actually went pretty good. It drives, it turns, but the acceleration is dreadful with the thousands of gallons of rocket fuel I am dragging, but it works. I can probably go in town with this. Now I am actually getting some speed. Going around 40 kilometers per hour or so. Extremely good. F I crashed. Sure, this thing could tow a massive load, but is it good at its main purpose, carrying cargo on the hold? So what I have done is that I have made a crane. I am going to use this to drop some cargo in the hold of the Ingva. I'll just drive this a little away. This is a fine place, now I just have to drive the Ingva here. Uh, where is the crane? Um, I think I reverted the flight, so it despawned. Shit, I'll have to launch a new crane then. I forgot to save the damn crane, so I had to build a new one. This is the crane Mark II and took me 7 minutes to build. I modified it with a rotor and better wheels. Oh my god, the rotor doesn't even work. Anyways doesn't matter. Payload time. Open the hatch. This is exciting. I am in place. Drop the load.
It is in. Epic. The acceleration has not changed much. The handling is still fine. And the speed feels good. Overall, this is good. The Ingver does what it is supposed to do. Now this only shows one thing. The fact is that the Ingver is better than the Hulska at every point. It has more cargo space, better ground clearance, it is better at towing loads, it has way better handling, it is lighter, the engine takes up way less space, it is faster, it accelerates faster, you have more space in the cabin, it is way easier to modify, it is even cheaper than the Hulska. Like what the f**k happened in the production? How could one guy make a better car in his garage than one of the biggest car manufacturers could? That is better at every point. What a shame. I think that is enough for today. Until next time, take care. Peace.